You see, when he came running out of the Weston house, his hands were was dripping with warm red blood. Poor kid, all that pain and suffering for a dollar bet. Make it two dollars for each minute I stay in there and you're on. You're on. Number of players, 16. Divide into eight pairs. Each pair will receive $10,000. Each pair will receive one set of clues. Forfeits. If any player drops out, the partner must leave the game. The pair must return the money. Absent player pairs forfeit the $10,000. Their clues will be held until next session. Players will be given two days notice for the next ses session. Each pair may then give one answer, object of the game, to win. Blood! Don't just sit there! Somebody call the fire department! Everything's okay, there's no fire. Chris, honey, it's alright, it's alright. Chris, look, it's just tomato sauce, see? Wrong. All answers wrong. What? I repeat, wrong. All answers are wrong. Partnerships are cancelled. You are on your own, alone. The lawyer will leave and return with the authorities at that appointed time, and time is running out. Hurry, find the name before the one who took my life. My life takes another. Remember, it's not what you have, it's what you don't have that counts. Missing words are Bear, Sa, Erica, and Crow. Birth, Erica, Crow. May I have everyone's attention? Thank you. Please listen very carefully to what I have to say. We found the answer to Sam Westing's puzzle. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, oh, oh. Sam Weston acted in Fourth of July pageants, fooling everybody with his clever disguises. Therefore, I submit that not only was Sam Westing alive, he was disguised as one of his very own hairs. No one recognized him with that back face in from the car crash. His disguise could be simple: baggy uniform, chipped front tooth, and broken eyeglasses. Sandy? Does she mean Sandy? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Westing was our dear friend Sandy. Happy Fourth of July! Woo! Woo!